Wow, that's weird. Greg, can you hear me? Yeah, I got you. Right. Sorry about that. That's 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 on me. Um, the other thing is, I got here and it we said you have to acknowledge that you want to be here in order to be able to unmute and share and change your video. Why well, share your video anyway? Whatever. Hi. Hi. Um. Yeah, I haven't looked at them a lot yet, but I'm really appreciative of the VBA bunches of things that you sent. I yeah, I, I you write know, a I'm, letter of support of them or something. I don't know what. I mean, yeah. I want to do it myself. Getting a trust to do it seems monumentally complicated, but <laughs> right. Well, although you know, I was grateful. You know, for I feel like um, though we were a little. You you know we are often process oriented. I feel like that was a good process. What was it last week? Oh um, yeah, you know, yeah 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 yeah. Um, I don't think it was a bad process. I just think like one of these things you're supposed to submit things by December fifth. So sure, and I think it's entirely appropriate for you know a sort of corollary informal thing is for folks to just kind of take the information and act themselves. You know. Um, uh you know so yeah i'm not gonna say as a mem i'm just gonna say me i live in town and this is what i have to say totally mm -hmm. yeah i think that's right um i apologize now that we're all here i apologize for the, the tech difficulties um and i should disclose uh uh and i meant to email but i've been running around on a few things um um so i didn't notice this um so that's why i switched it to a meeting and i think that's what caused the password stuff um uh, that's an oversight on my part. Um, uh, so I, I, I defer to, you know, what, 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 how do we want to proceed if at all? Um, I'm okay going if, if you all want to, but I think if. Wait, why should we, why is there a question about proceeding? Um, well, cause I didn't, cause, cause technically I didn't notice this as a public meeting. Um, so, uh, which we had done historically, um, um, oh, so nobody can get into it because they don't have a password. So if a public person comes, they won't be able to get in. That's the problem, right? Um, uh, correct. Yeah. But uh, it is being recorded and it is available. Yeah, I think it's okay personally, but um, okay. Very well. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> we can right. always yeah. email you. Um, we have as many public participants now. As yeah. we no one's ever come anyway. No. So. No. Right. Nope. <laughs> Um, um, as long as it's being recorded, I think we're good. All right. So should we? Um, and and yeah, and I I've been kind of working the HPP stuff and a little bit out of the realm of the strategic plan. But um, Erica, I have not yet looked at what you sent. Um, but should we yeah. review? Should, we sure. were going to talk about. Uh, can you can you talk about guidelines today? Right. Yep. 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 Yeah. And I have uh, no way of having you half on my screen to see you guys and having the document on. So let me so see. Let me. Um, yeah, good. yeah. If you can put it up, that'd be good. Um, um, I yeah. highlighted what I um, either added or had questions about under the application. It starts at 2019, I think. Just look here. Mm, okay. Here it is. Um, Fiscal year 2019. All right. Let me just go to share. Okay, and I can make this bigger here. Yeah, and then you um, have to scroll all the way down because it looks like yeah. there's nothing there. Oh and, oh, and this is okay. Um, sorry, I, got, I, can, I think we've gone through all that. Yeah, yeah, this is where we've been here. Um, okay, here's some highlighting. Yes. Uh, yeah, I actually highlighted. Um, yeah, starting there. Yep. Um, You're going to make it bigger, right? Yes. Um, and I wonder if I can uh, sorry, do the um one thing at a time. You know, it's in um Yeah, Google Doc. No, which is okay, but it's it's a Google it's actually I think still a Word document being viewed through Google Docs. Which is fine. I'm just the way to um, 
Yeah, I couldn't get 365 on my computer. It's just this Chrome is infuriating. I'm just trying to figure out if I might zoom option here. Should be on your bar. Should be. Oh, there we go. Yep. Um, how's that? A little better, but I can't read it. <laughs> how's that? 200, yep. Okay, that's better that's good that's yeah. pretty so okay for, yeah. so for number two i just put in trust okay. uses of trust funds because above it asks committed uncommitted other blah 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 so i just to distinguish we're just asking about the trust funds there and then uh you had a dot i couldn't get rid of this a dot new construction so i did box new construction <laughs> that was all um okay no, so there should be a box there instead. They should all be the sure. same, whatever the hell they are. Sure. Yeah. Yep. Right. Yep. Exactly. All right. And then I just uh, below and it messed everything up. I, the next one is I just added workers because we have homeless, we have family, elderly, special needs, housing with support services. So I just added workers and it messed the whole area up. Okay. Um, I. Sure. Yeah. I mean, it can't. Yeah. I think um, family, we have, we have individual in here somewhere. Yeah. I don't know. Like family, yeah. senior. in this section, I don't, it just family, senior, homeless or at risk of homelessness, special needs, housing with support services. And I just added workers. So I, there was no individual there. Okay. So maybe I'll a wish... worker could be an individual. Okay. Sure. I mean, I but think they I'm... have to be working. Yeah, I wonder if workers and family are. I mean, I think family's kind of, I think, sort of the generic catch all. And, okay. you know, and then I think some of these others have, um, you know, they, they, they imply specific things around funding streams um, and, and just development approaches in some cases. Um, yeah, I, I just, uh, these are all just um, brainstorming. So, you sure, can sure. Yeah. It. But let me just. Um, let, let me just um, give an example. So you had submitted to us uh, or yet shared with us one of the transmittals of uh, an organization actually building on uh, an apartment for a worker uh, and that worker would be specific to supporting that organization. What if they came to us and said, you know, these workers make very little amount of money, um, but we're paying them what the average is, you know, in sure, Western sure. Mass. Could you give us five thousand to support the development of that apartment? You know, so that's why I thought about workers, especially after looking at the transmittal. Yeah, even the thing that you just sent, Greg. There was some ZBA thing that was about somebody building something for their workers, and that's what I think so uh, er Erica was referring to. I, you know, so yeah. in that, so in that case, um, you know, there. Um, that's kind of outside of the formal affordable housing space. Um, in that, it wouldn't be. I mean, I suppose somebody could seek a deed restriction. I, I don't know why they would, um, oh, but, see, see. but, but, and also the, it, it wouldn't, because it's, it's, uh, it, it wouldn't kind of be in the bigger universe of affordable housing in that it, it's not, it's not accessible to different folks. Mm. So like, we, like wouldn't go on the SHI list because there's no marketing plan. There's no, um, there's no fair housing dynamics to it. It's just specifically for that employees of that company um so so what i mean that to me that doesn't leave it out you no it, it would for us it, it, it would for the trust because we couldn't we couldn't fund it with well you know, actually yeah i don't we, think that's we couldn't fund it with cpa money right that's for sure right but why can't we fund it with some other money because i'm what, pretty sh sure our trust guidelines suggest we have to you know that that anything we support has to have a marketing plan, um, like has to have an affirmative and, and, and fair housing marketing plan and um, and probably some sort of, of, of deed restriction. Um, you know, so that, so the thing about that, that project, right. Is uh, yeah, I mean, I, ultimately this is a nitpick thing. I, we, we can leave it in here. You know, I don't, I don't think it's going to hurt anything to put in there, but I guess just using that project as, as an example, like, if that if that owner were to come to us and say, "Hey, I'm building an affordable unit for, you know, for my employees," even if we didn't identify other obstacles, I think we would require, um, 
in fact, I, we, we'd have to require some sort of, of, of permanent deed restriction, or not, if not permanent, some sort of time named deed restriction on that apartment saying it will be affordable for this amount of time to, to individuals of this income. Yeah. Um, Who are employees of UMass, if UMass is doing it. I mean, I don't know. I just, we don't know what the, I, maybe it's just me, but I am don't feel like assuming limitations at okay. this moment that maybe there's a way around and maybe there isn't but the, the, somebody the else language, besides me have an opinion please <laughs> the, the language that's that that we usually see in affordable housing is is workforce housing not not workers exactly but workforce yeah so i mean you know i think um I agree and, and and you know i think workforce housing is a term that we're, you know, kind of sector wise, we're moving away from in that I think what it what it is generally meant to imply is um, uh, generally a higher um, AMI, you know, uh, uh, so to me, the better way to get at that is just what we have in, in the, the lower table here, you know, at, at one, you know, 80 to 120, I think is how they used to identify, like, workforce, but I think one of the things people realize is like, well, people at 30 and below are also often part of the workforce as well. And so it's sort of shorthand for like, you know, middle-class people, I think. Um, uh, but um, so, yeah, so, but, but, but that said, I think, yeah, certainly there, maybe there's, you know, I could, you know, people do farm worker housing in other parts of the state, you know, I mean, so let's leave it in there. I, I you know, I don't, it, it, it doesn't need to, I, mean, I think we're having kind of two parallel conversations of the, the, the minor thing of, should we have a box here and the bigger question of, um, of future possibilities, so I, I'm I'm happy just to leave it. Um, but I, yeah, yeah. So the yeah. um the reason why I think it's important to leave is is that um, the application, the way it's been written in the past, implies construction, but there's also preservation, and there's also we've done rental subsidies and we've done emergency like helping with arrears. Mm -hmm. And so I think the if we're going to use an application for all requests, the application has to have the ability to include requests like that. So I don't know how to do that. I just, you know, want to raise that. Sure. Yeah, I think we should maybe come back and kind of ask that question universally after we go through here. Okay, good. All right. Uh, note that. All right. So then type of housing. And so my question was, why aren't there questions about home development, such as condos or homes, one to three bedrooms? This implies that it's just for rentals, unless I'm reading it wrong. Uh, group. See, it says yeah. so, so. So again, I don't think this actually speaks to. I, I mean, like you know, uh, individual family could be ownership or rental. I think. But it has rental above it. Sorry. Oh, I sorry. Know. Sorry. Uh, then, okay. uh, um, yeah, there it is. I'll um, agree. Um, so um, I think um, maybe I think the better way to handle it. So like these are effectively suggest like building typologies, you know, so maybe a way to do it is just to say like rental or owner, you know, have, have, have a single box for, in fact, actually, I actually, you know, with with a nod to my 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 colleague, Mr. Crowner here, um, maybe rental ownership, or like limited equity slash other, um, and then and and then and then this question leave leave it be. Why is limited equity slash other not either rental or ownership? Um, well, because it because I think there are models out there that kind of split the difference. Um, you know, like, you know, I mean, some of the stuff I learned about that um, uh, community land trust training had some interest, you know, I have a, I have a pipe dream about, <laughs> you know, some like, you know, doing, uh, finding a way to support some limited equity, like co-op type stuff in the future, you know, I don't know who would build that, but, <laughs> you know, but like that to me seems like a good match for Amherst, you know, sometime down the line, if there was somebody willing to build it, Um um, okay. So well, it still seems like the person the person owns something. They maybe own their house instead of also the land under it. But it's well, I think like whatever. Yeah. I don't care yeah. that much. Just do whatever. I don't. Okay. 
as long as everything, as long as it doesn't limit the possibilities, that's my greatest goal at the moment. Don't limit the possibilities at this juncture. Sure. Um, and I'll come back and do formatting and stuff here. Uh, Rental. Yeah, yeah. Um, um oops, pardon my typing here. I'm still. Um. So yeah, so then we have, um, I mean, and then and then so if if we have this covering the sort of ownership or the you know, the resident like tenure type, like, does this cover oh, does this cover all the um, um? I would think then these boxes underneath here you don't need because you have this very specific bunch of things about AMIs and number of rooms and so that seems more that seems more useful to me than this thing of single room occupancy individual family group blah 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 I mean that's all going to be clear if I'm looking at the thing below it I think so, I think so. get rid of it or even above because you've asked what kind of construction or you know exactly it's just not necessary sro we could cover that we could cover individual family okay works and for me get, and you can get rid of my my question too sure Um, I just assume, yeah, th yeah, this works for me. I mean, I guess the, some of the lie tech, which is often what we support, sometimes they come in at 60, um, instead of 50. Um, so, you know, I, Put a column that says other describe whatever the heck your thing is. I mean. Okay. Yeah. And then I guess, uh, yeah, because, you know, sometimes some of the ACLT stuff I think is targeted at 70 maybe. Um, so we'll add a. Your definition or define or something. Other, please define. Sure. Okay. Not here we are again. Okay, so yeah. Um So if you just don't have that there and just say pro forma budget blah 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 and letter is a financial commitment then you're fine just leave that out i already said what it was somewhere else we don't need to say it again for sure and we're kind of drilled in here but i, I yeah that, that makes sense to me um but i wanted to just sort of zoom out a little bit not that you know th this is a good example is I'm kind of operating under the assumption here that we could put some sort of, and I'm going to, I was going to propose this, you know, when we came back around, but I think it it's relevant to all these questions. Some sort of preamble or, or, or introductory text that says, give us the information have reflective of where you are in your application, where you are in your development process, right? Like, cause there could be somebody asking for pre-development money. That's not going to have a one-stop application yet. It's not, you know, their, their performer might be very basic. Um, um, and I, you know, so, so it can, can, I, can we kind of go forward thinking that we can yeah. caveat it in some way? Yeah. Yep, okay. Yep. All right. Cool. All right. You just say something at the beginning, like, um, please fill out the parts of this that are relevant to what you're asking for and, and where you are in your development And where you process. are. And, yeah. you know, if it yeah. doesn't apply, say NA or something right. or other, I don't know. 
And you can also say end note, uh, proceeding yeah. with the tone, that you'll be asked for many of these. Right. So be prepared. All right. So I might delete. So I'll delete this. Agreed? Mm -hmm. anyway. sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, performa, last match, two qualifications. What strike. was this? What was the heading above this? White Fina Greg, financial. Like, da, 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 da. Financial. Okay. I don't know. That's fine, I guess. Okay. Then yeah. financial, just that there, and then qualify. Got it. Thank you. I just... The letters and numbers are all kind of weird, but you'll fix that. Yeah, I'll fix that. So describe applicant's capacity. I think we should... Um... Yeah, I don't think you need that last statement. Um, and they usually do. I mean, it's it's sort of one of the presentations. You sure, know, we are so yeah. and so we've done this, and here are some places that are similar. Um is that okay, Rob, Carol, yep. if I delete that? Okay. Yep. Um references. Um Could you have related developments that are in process as well as completed? I don't know. If all of these things yeah. just say, yeah. if applicable behind them, then... <laughs> or we say that generically somewhere anyway. We do. Yeah, I, mean, I think that kind of gets to the preamble yeah. information, you know, like... Um... So um, this one here, uh, it just said the housing production plan, and it's. I think we agree that we want it really for, to focus on our action plan. So we can get rid of the housing production plan, but I didn't want to leave it since it was there. I don't care if they're both there really, but I want the yeah. action plan there. Yeah, I agree. I think it's fine. So, yeah, I think the housing, I mean, I, I think Shelly was correct to rule out like, you know, the master plan and the, you know, all, all the more comprehensive stuff. Um, um, I am... I was, I'm, I'm chewing on whether on the housing production plan side, I, you know, I think um, maybe um, I'll highlight a chapter, you know, I'll highlight. Uh, um, well, if you write housing needs and leave it there, then they'll have to demonstrate where they got that data from. I mean, that's housing needs. Period. Sure. Okay. Yeah, that works. Um, oh, yeah. Right. Housing needs. Period. End of sentence. Okay. Then just get rid of all this. Yep. Okay. Great. Um, so here, I think we are agreeing to dispose of all this, all right? Yep. Okay. One hopes that the town has done a reasonable job of incorporating those big things into this stuff that we're asking them to look at. Right. Right. Well, I think, but here we're saying we're not, we're not requiring that you cross check the exactly. Yeah, yeah. We're, like, that's our job, not theirs. In yeah. My yeah. Opinion. Totally. That's all totally. I'm saying. Yeah. 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 Um, you know, and you know, if we get to where we're, you know, 
fending off multiple asks, <laughs> we can we can encourage them to, you know, do that, you know, off off the record. Um can we support have you? Okay. Those were notes to ourselves. Um, so I just added or plan to, and I think that was, you know, what you're um alluding to in terms of the preamble. You know, if if yeah. you haven't already done it, how do you plan to do it? Um, okay. So I'm just gonna like that. Um that works for me. I didn't touch five. Um, can we, yeah, can we revise this to reflect this more of this approach? Um, yeah. Um, so I'm not sure if this is. You can just have the title. Oh yeah. Okay. So have that five, what's the status of site control? Yep. Okay. That works. That's good. Um, uh, can I just ask you what you mean by value? I'm not sure I th what that, I, I think maybe the original question, um, it's it's if you you don't want to um, give someone hundred thousand dollars for a property that's only worth fifty thousand dollars. Ah, thank you. Ah, good call. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Oh, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Thanks, Rob. Oh, uh, there might be a better way to say it because at least yeah, I, mean, I, I didn't get it without Rob. Yeah, I wouldn't have gotten it either. Um, and it was a set control and document site value. Finan uh, like financial value. A, you have I mean, it's yeah. purchase of sale and agreement that wouldn't show that. Well, I mean, I think it, I, um, I think uh, yeah, I'm, I'm channeling maybe what my best understanding of what John or Nick might have meant some years back, but um, I think he's giving examples here of. Uh, of how this um, this information might be documented. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, someone could buy it for a dollar, and then it's you know may not be worth more than fifty thousand, <laughs> or be donated. Right. But I mean, I think. But you know, but so for example, if you know, um, yeah, if somebody acquired it for a dollar and then ask us for fifty grand for acquisition, that wouldn't make sense. You know. So. Yeah. Okay. I don't think I have too much below. Let's see. Okay. Oh, I have one down below. Yeah, I just made it foreseeable environmental challenges. I think we should... Yeah, how are they going to know until they do a, you know, sort of a, a environmental review or inspection or whatever? Some of the times that's what, before going out, at least to ask or RF or whatever they're called, the trust and the town have done that stuff first so that when somebody goes to put in their proposal, they know what they're dealing with because it seems like it makes well, a dramatic difference what it's going to cost and take to do something if it's got a lot of wetlands or if it doesn't. It sure so it, does. But I mean, that's a scenario where we own a property and can vet that stuff in advance, you know, where we have site control like we did with the, the East Street School, for example. Yeah. But I mean, with um community homes they did themselves yeah and it's, or, or 132 yeah, right, right. as well you know i mean so um and I, I guess the the one thing some of the stuff gets out of our out of our lane a little bit and and, and i think we talked about this some with yeah shelly and I'm, I'm wondering like does you know i'm good for deleting it but you know it just it's a matter of you know if they, if we look at the map and they, you know, uh, have wetlands on the map, like, you know, um, with the mm -hmm. uh, Amherst Community Homes, it was very clear that there was a whole area that was considered wetlands. I mean, it's, it's going to be a question that's going to come up from us. Maybe it's a, what was the thing we said about um, what is the status of site control or something? 
maybe the thing mm -hmm. to say with these ones is what is the status of the environmental whatever all these things are supposed to be so that or, if you know, they know something then they'll tell us and if they don't they'll tell well we this don't know is yet. what we're going to do when if we get control or be, i don't know what they'll say but it'll just if we just ask it as a where is your what's the process where are you in the process of this sort of or you know what it could be say like what challenges do you foresee and the, so and maybe close you know so it's basically like um you know what challenges do you foresee regarding environmental challenges and have you made any plans yet <laughs> on addressing them Or even if there aren't any, I don't know, just I where mean, are you in the process of thinking about these things? I think this is, I can't remember if this is Shelly's note in here. I think it might be. No, it's me. Oh, is it you? Okay. Because I rewrote it, just describe foreseeable environmental challenges, and it gave some examples and the plan for addressing these challenges. Yeah, I think this actually covers it because it's, you know, we're saying, what do you, what, you know, what do you foresee right now? We're not asking mm -hmm. like, you know, what's, you know, for detailed environmental information. Right. So should we just follow Erica's proposal here and that's fine. Go like yay, and that you know, and I. Sorry. You know, it's interesting because I think with C would come really after D, <laughs> because once we would see the pre preliminary site plans, we would see some of that. I mean, even with VFW, there was a whole section to the left of the property that had a huge grade. Um, and then you'd see that there might some be some challenges there. Yeah. Um, what if I see, I, I'm, I'm happy to move that down below D. Is that, yeah, I think I don't care. Fine. fine. I'll... Um, okay. I think I propose a scene. So here I was challenged with, um, it's not just individuals who um, uh, are handicapped, who need, uh, who are, who have disabilities, but also I think, you know, elders who may, I mean, I wanted to put down universal access because I really think people should think about universal access. People get older in place. So I, I didn't know how to write that, but you know, if we can encourage universal access that, you know, somebody could have a temporary disability, uh, someone could be a senior with a disability and a senior who doesn't have any disabilities. So I was just trying to be more universal around this. Can't you just go describe how the proposed project will, and blah, 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 just leave out the middle part, describe how, how the project, how the proposed project, describe how the proposed project, at least go to there and then leave that part out. Sure. And you've got it, I think. Yeah, that's fine. That looks good. Though I think that's minimal versus universal access. <laughs> but that's fine. Yeah. We can't make them do more than what the state and local and federal laws require. Well, no, we can't make them, but I mean, we can, you know, if, if. We'll comply with or exceed. Yeah. Or something. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Um, so I, I just looked at this and I thought, so I'm going to look at these people. I have no idea who they are. Do we need that? They might be good to have, but especially with somebody like Rob, you have experience with, you know, organizations, you might see something as a red flag and like, oh dear, not that organization or not that uh, engineer or architect. Um, but I wouldn't know any of these people from Adam. I just end up looking at resumes, basically. Yep. So I don't care if there it can be. I like the fact that it says if um no 
if not I, yet identified or something. Yeah, I think we should keep it. And I and I guess the part of me is thinking, you know, forward about you know, hope hopeful for a time when we have a broader set of actors focused on, on building in the region. And, you know, I would love to find a way to support an emerging developer, you know, like, um, and it, for example, it might be the case that like somebody doesn't have any projects under their belt but yet, but they have a crack development team. And that would give me some, you know, I'd be cautious about somebody who had never done something like this before, but I'd be reassured perhaps by, you know, if they had a great architect and a great attorney and a great, um, you know, so I think like leaving this in, conversely, if somebody has big grand plans and doesn't list anybody here, you know, like that, that's also could also be a signal. So I, I'm, I'm inclined to leave, leave it. it. Leave it. Okay. Yep. Um, I don't think I touched any of these things. Yep. Yeah, that's just eight seems good. You know, it's imp it's important in the process, but I it's just proposed as the preamble. We're just seeing what's proposed. Yeah. I mean, I, okay. I I was absolutely um very happy with Valley's um marketing approach. I mean, they they exceeded. Um, oh, for sure. Yeah, I mean they. And I guess maybe that's what we're, because there, you know, the, 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 the basics, there's eight different layers that are obligating them to that outside of us, you know, um, but yeah, I suppose, but yeah, we should keep it because I, because I suppose if there's some scenario where, you know, like, for example, like again, ACLT probably isn't pulling from some of those state funding resources that are requiring those things. So in a case like that, we would be the entity that is vetting that stuff up front, essentially, you know. Um, the point the point to me is this is important to us, whether it's yeah. important to whoever else, that's up to somebody else. This is important to us, so it should be here. Okay. Maybe, could, could I ask if could, maybe we could subtract construction complaints why well if we think about the practical approach to this your the developer is going to have to make that request of their contractor um that's and, fine you know complaints how about just getting rid of construction just write complaints yeah i mean, I, I guess I, i'm open to the, the, the i think the fair housing piece here is important it's mm -hmm. the construction complaints which is that, that that's a very different um thing for a prospective applicant to track down um and it covers a, a, a different um to to me that's that, that that's the building department's concern you know is, is you know is are, are the construction companies working safe it's not our concern um it's a town concern a town has an anti-wage theft by law and it seems like that's where that sort of maybe it could be a different maybe it should be c i don't know but it but just you don't complaints. want to you don't want to be hiring some contractor who has a bunch of bad labor practices for instance. yeah agree i'm just i'm just i guess i'm just i'm i'm really weighing whether that's our lane or not as the housing trust um, I mean, because I'm thinking just practically, because like, really, what's going to happen is like, you know, in a lot of cases, you know, developer contacts construction uh, team, especially when they're not like bonded yet, and they're, they're not going to have a formal contract yet with a construction company. The construction companies inevitably say, "No, we don't have any complaints against us," and the there will probably not be like maybe there's a state database or something, but. You know, but, it, you know, so I don't I, I don't know what like I think um, a lot of people are just going to sort of breeze by that. And then the fo and, and then the folks who really take it seriously are going to have a really hard time getting genuinely accurate information, especially at this stage. 
um you know and i and i also too i mean i, I have to say like you know as as towns go you know our you know our construction and and building inspection and you know the the folks who are on that side of things it's far more robust frankly than most towns in this area and so to me i just think like that's we 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 should defer like things like construction complaints to this this side of the house that's like actually focused on the weeds of construction um Can we just have complaints in there? So I'm just thinking like, for example, this is just an example. Oh, maybe I shouldn't mention any names because we're recorded, but let, let's just say we work with a developer and we find out that this developer worked in another small town to create affordable housing. They never completed the project. Um, they went way, way over budget, way, way over timelines. And there were actually complaints from the municipality against that developer. Um, I mean, I don't know if that's realistic or not, but you know, I'm just wondering, Um, any major, I mean, complaints, if you just write complaints. Or, I mean, I, I, I'd be happy to swap out the word other uh, for construction here. I guess to me, like construction, construction complaints implies. Um, right. Yeah. Get it, rid of construction. It, 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 yeah. I mean, it, it, Carol, is that okay? If we, if we just put in the word other here instead of construction. Or just complaints, not even other, just Fair no, but then it's housing, com fair housing complaints. Uh, and it okay. might be other. other things. It has to be fair housing and or other. It has to have yeah. other. Sure. Other. Okay. Or it's Sounds way good. too limiting. I guess. I just, um, I mean, I think you're probably right, Greg, that it's someplace else that is going to catch a contractor who has a crappy relationship with their employees or with other towns or with whoever in the world we're talking about, it's probably on the developer to make sure that they don't do something like that. Uh, so. Well, yeah, I mean, and, and I a construction. Know. I guess it's okay. Just Yeah. And, and I see, and keep in mind too, some of these construction, you know, I mean like, you know, so, you know, values is like, you know, fairly large construction firms, for example, that are, you know, they're working on, you know, municipal buildings or they're working on, you know, a whole range of different things. And like, you know, yeah, I mean, like, for example, you know, the school, I haven't been following it too closely, but the school thing is held up based on, you know, I don't know. Yeah, I think construction complaint just opens a can of worms. So, you know, so I think here, um, you know, really, cause really what we're getting at here is like, you know, are there, are, you know, this is your opportunity for disc for full disclosure, you know, um i'm just wanting to just cover everybody developer sponsor the other thing too is we don't write construction contractor here either no it, yeah. i don't know that we ever knew anything about like western builders was valley's builder at 32 northampton road or whatever its address was did we have anything to do with them i no, don't no. think so you know cert but certainly though my colleagues sitting across the way though absolutely do you know when they're um you know they're on site a lot uh for inspection stuff so um, okay okay projected timeline great this is important let's keep it this is where I say gut this whole thing. <laughs> I del agree. I mean, if you have, it's an, this is somebody applying to us. It's not, I, right. I don't know. This is like an RFP thing and I don't like a lot of it anyway. Yeah. This really is, this really is prejudice toward people who've already done this a million times. Every most of the things that get you over a lot of the things anyway that get you over to being highly something or other are you have done this a lot. I was like, yeah, I mean, this is use this is like maybe useful guidance, but I, I don't quite see why. It, I mean, I mean, I guess I suppose it perhaps provides so so the developers giving you all the stuff they want that you want. And this is kind of like the thing that tells them, here's how we're going to grade what you give us. Right. And and, and so and then the question becomes, have we really, have we really we don't. weighed this, you know? Um, we don't. Well, we don't use this. Yeah. Um, this, we use this for the RFP. This is what, um, Carol, you and I, and I'm going to forget the consultant's name, 
um, developed uh, for the RFP. Oh, Rita. For, Rita, right. We developed it for the Northampton, uh, no, for the um, Belchertown Road and the East Street School. I I really think this, I think, you know, if I were a developer, I'd have to read all of this and try to meet the highly advantageous. But then we, you know, they come to us and we're sitting in a meeting and we're reviewing this. We're not using this as a measure. Um, and so, I mean, if you look at the top, what I wrote was what we should write is a little further up. Um, with regard to value in the application, we can state that the trust will determine approval based on how well the application furthers the trust's action plan, viability of the project, and the trust resources available. That's what we measure it by. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Um, um, yeah, I mean, I, I think, you know, So I think really, yeah, certainly I agree. This is, it's not really transparent to say this is how we evaluate things and then not equip everybody with it. I guess maybe the question becomes is, you know, is, is Erica's sentence here? Uh, I like Erica's sentence. Yeah. I mean, I guess that to me, you know, does this, does this, you know, short and sweet, you know, does this cover is this, is this a reasonable representation of how we evaluate projects, I guess? I think it is. Rob? Yeah. I, okay, I, I agree. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy to... Um, get rid of this and and i do think this is a good guidance for us you know and, and it could inspire some you know some conversation or whatever but i don't think it's it belongs here so okay um um all right so here i go because I, ha I have an old copy of this i suppose so i'm not gonna we all have uh, copies of it all right. there <laughs> look at that Um, I mean, if you wanted, we could create a principal document for, uh, for the trust and then not. it would be sort of, yeah, or let's not, <laughs> <laughs> I said, let's not, I don't know more. The thing is all of that kind of stuff partly tends to change in a way that makes sense. What if we had some principal document before, do you think it would have led us to support the Craig Door thing, which seems in a way like an outlier, or or even the, the thing, the project we made to help fund housing in COVID, I think that we just, we can limit ourselves too much. We're, we're here to do this. The people who are in the trust are not going to suddenly decide to build someplace to launch balloons. I just like, I, I think we could have, maybe Rob thinks we are going to launch the balloon. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like the generic statement is is useful, and our, all of us have to talk about it. It's not just one person saying this is the way it is. So, right. I, I think it also reflects the realities. I've been on the trust since 2019, and the only time we used that chart was when we had an RFR. It was created for the RFR. We've never used. I mean, I've never used it again. When people come and present. <laughs> You know, we listen to the presentation, which has most of the information that we ask for above in this application, and then we make a determination. After and we it. didn't even we didn't even use it then. We created it, and whoever was the group of people who who decided, they're the ones who used it. We didn't even use it then. Somebody else did. Um, yeah, and I think you know, I, I I suspect a lot of this was created, you know, well before everything was operational. And I think, you know, I, I think a lot about, you know, Laura Baker made a comment a few months ago about, you know, we have not yet really arrived at a point where we had more projects than money, you know, like the issue has been project, you know, so I think if we were evaluating seven different projects at the same time, it would probably behoove us to have to be a bit more rigorous in, in some sort of scoring matrix or, you know, or something along those lines. But but that's not where we are, you know, um, yet, <laughs> but we can come back and, you know, that will be a happy problem to solve, um, uh, should we need to. So, 
Um, okay. Is there more we should cover now? I mean, we should, we should talk about process with this thing, but um, it, was there other stuff we were going to cover? Forgive me for not knowing that, but okay. I hope not. No, I think this um, was it. So then I'll work on the formatting and, you know, the highlighting and, and work on making this clean. And in fact, I'm going to download a copy um, uh, right now. Um, um, but I guess then we should we, we should deliver this to the full trust for approval. Does that make sense? Cool. For review, but I think we're gonna have to clean it up somewhat. Sure, well, sure, yeah. I mean, I, I would, I would go through and do the. So, shall I? Maybe I'll go through and, and do the formatting, and then and then share it back with this group. Does does that make sense? Or That's if you, good. yep, yep, make. Okay. Cool. And then from there we can we can get to the full trust. Um, all right. Many thanks. This was great. Thanks, and we got five minutes to spare. Look at that. Um, yeah. Um, it, Carol, sorry. I was going to ask if Rob and Greg, uh, you want to decide on our next small group funding meeting? Oh, sure. Oh, on your funding meeting? Our, yeah. we're, our, our, oh, our small oh, group, yeah. our, our working group based on the action plan. So I'm you're going to leave. You're excused. <laughs> Bye. Bill, uh, Good to see you, Carol. You hanging yes. in, hey, how, how how are your uh, are you, you guys both recovering as you'd hoped? Or? Yeah, it's a uh, lot. I mean, you know, uh, Pat's only one week out from a full knee replacement, so she's um, all right. And I'm going to the doctor today, hopefully, to have them tell me that my kneecap is healed. Although I've been kind of acting like it was for a little while anyway. So, all right. Anyhow, we're getting there. We're getting there. All right. Thanks Hang for in asking. there. Been thinking about you. Okay. All right. Take All care. Right. Take care. Um, Got to get those two healthy or the town will fall apart. Um, <laughs> uh, so Erica, you had thrown some dates out, right? Remind me. Yeah. Any day from uh, the first week of December. So the third, the fourth and the fifth, I'm wide available. Rob, you're still muted. Sorry, <laughs> I, I'm I'm uh, available all day on the third. Um, less available on the other days, but 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 still available. Third is actually pretty open for me as well. Okay, okay, just decide a time. Um, so I'm back to uh, um, my window on the third will be uh like being generous to myself, like nine 45 to, um, to like two 30, so somewhere in there. Um, so may maybe we could do, um, like one 30. Sounds good. All right. I will. I mean, should, should we make that just a monthly meeting with, with, or are you, are your schedules not quite? I'm available. <laughs> Tuesdays are usually good for me. Okay. Um, and then, January. Okay, so that'll be the um was that the first so yeah, that'll that'll be the seventh. Um seventh actually might not be good of January now that I look at it. Um because we have that we have the um well why don't we be prepared to decide that on our okay well let's do we'll, we'll do December. Yeah, so let's 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 do the December meeting on the um what do we say? The Tuesday the third at one thirty. Yes, I'll, I'll send gonna, out. Yeah, you're gonna have to post it, and we're gonna have yeah. to have an agenda. Yes, which should be very general. Um, and so yeah, so Rob, um, uh, if you wanted to send me like, and I think it can be, I mean, if you want to do something detailed, you can, but I think it it can be as simple as like, you know, fleshing out our strategies. Yeah, you know, I think that's all we need. Yeah, that, and, that's... okay. All right, so I'll, I'll just do that. Um, yeah. there, there we go. We have approval. <laughs> okay, you know, so fleshing out our strategies and next steps. Um, and yep. All right. Cool. And um, uh, are we going to make this in person or Zoom? Um, I'm open. I'm available either. Um, Rob, you're the one who's working. Yeah, it's it's easier for me to do Zoom. But but it is also nice to get out for a little walk. 
Um, so it sort of depends on what the weather will be that day, which we can't <laughs> tell. Um, um, shall we plan on in person? Well, actually, no, because for posting purposes, it'd probably be good to know in advance. Um, what snow? You know what weather? <laughs> Yeah. All right, so let's let's let, let's do in person, um, yeah. and 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 I'll I'll try and you know let's let's try and look at the look at the weather a week out, and if we need to adjust, we can. Perfect. All right. Yeah. You're gonna get us the same space. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. All right. Perfect. Sounds good. Thank right. you so much. Good to see All you guys. Right. Likewise. Thanks. Thanks for your work. Yep. Yeah. Bye bye. Right.